In this video, we will learn how to create column charts. Column charts are one of the most common types of charts. A column chart displays each data point as a vertical column, the height of which corresponds to the value. The value scale is displayed on the vertical axis, which is usually on the left side of the chart. You can specify any number of data series and the corresponding data points for each series. Typically, each data series is depicted in a single color so that you can identify different data series with different colors and patterns. Column charts are often used to compare discrete items and they can depict the differences between items in a series or items across multiple series. There are different types of column charts. The chart that you have you are seeing here is called a clustered column chart. To look at all the different types of column charts available, we will go to the insert menu. And within this, this is the symbol for column charts. You can see all these are the options available in column charts. This first one is the clustered column chart, which is the standard column chart. The second option is of stacked column chart in which the data series are stacked over one another. The third type is the 100% stacked column chart where data series are stacked and are expressed as percentages. In this second row, you can see the 3D versions of column charts. The first one is 3D clustered column, which is the same as 2D clustered column, but just in three dimensions. Second is 3D stacked column. Third is 3D 100% stacked column. And the last one is 3D column in which multiple series are arranged along a third axis. So now let us discuss about this particular example of clustered column chart. In this column chart, you can see monthly sales for two products, shirts and pants. From this chart, it is clear that pant sales have always exceeded shirt sales. In addition, shirt sales have been declining over the months, whereas pant sales are increasing. So now let us learn how to create this clustered column chart. Let us first delete this chart that I have already created. Now, the easy way is we will select the whole data. We will go to the clustered column option in insert menu and we'll click it. And you can see that we have a clustered column chart drawn for us. The problem with drawing the chart like this is in case you want to add additional column in this table or you want to add more months in this table, you will find difficulty in creating this chart again. That is why we'll be learning how to create this chart from a blank slate. So we'll delete this chart. We'll not select the data and then we will go to insert. We'll select a column chart. This is blank. Nothing is drawn over here. When you have selected this chart area, you will get two additional options in the menu. One is design and one is format. First, we'll go to the design tab and there we will select this select data option. This select data option can also be accessed by right clicking on this chart area and selecting select data option. So now, so now you can see there are two parts in this data selection dialog box. The first part is of legend entries. These, this will be the data series that you want to plot. So we will click on add button here. We see two parts coming up. One is series name. So our first series is for shirts. So we'll select shirts here. And the second box is for data series values. So we will select all these values. And you can see in the background, the sales of shirts are plotted in the chart. 
we can click ok so this is one data series which is the shirts data series which is plotted let us add the second data series this is the data series name then this is the data series values click on ok now you can see on the top the chart data range is getting updated on its own basis the data that you are selecting now on the right hand side there is horizontal axis labels by default excel selected 1 2 3 4 5 which you can see in the chart also instead of 1 2 3 4 5 we wanted the month names which is jan feb march april may so we will click on edit and we will select these five values and click on ok you can see that we are getting jan feb march april now as access labels we can click on ok and you can see that we have the two data series plotted in this stat column chart in case you want another column of sales of pair of shoes you can add that here and you can go to the select data table of select data option of this chart and you can add another series now in this chart there are two important information missing one is the chart title that is it is depicting the sales of our products so we will add a chart title and there is a box of regions missing which will tell us what this orange data series is depicting and what this blue data series is depicting so we will add the two elements of charts by clicking on this plus button and we will tick this chart title box and the legend box now you can see the shirts data series is plotted in blue and the pants data series is plotted in orange we can change the text in the chart title by double clicking on it clearing it and entering the sales chart title that we want for this chart if you want to change the location of this legend box that is if you want it below your chart you can drag and drop it so this is how we make a clustered column chart if we want to make a stat column chart it is very easy once we have created this chart we can just select this chart area by clicking anywhere on this chart area and then going to insert and then changing the chart type to stat column in this chart type the two data series one of pants and one of shirts is stacked one over another and you can see the total sales as one single bar so this chart has the added advantage of depicting the combined sales over time it shows the total sales have remained relatively steady over the years but the relative proportions of the two products have changed however the limitation of this chart is you can only compare this lower data series since it has a common base for this orange data series which is depicting pant sales you cannot really compare the change in its values because the base is constantly changing you get an idea that it is increasing over time but still it is not that clear moreover if you have more than two data series it becomes even more complicated now let us go and change this chart type to 100% stack column chart now you can see that the top is matched that is it is 100% for each month so this chart is showing us the relative contribution of each product by the month notice that the value axis is displaying percentage values now and not sales amount so this chart provides no information about the actual sales volumes this type of chart is a good option when you want to compare the contribution of different categories to the total. 
Now you can also create three dimensional graphs using these options. Usually 3D graphs add no additional information. They are just showing the same results in a 3D format. Some people use it because they find it visually appealing. But in most of the business settings, 3D graphs are not really preferred. People usually prefer 2D graphs. Although you can create 3D graphs if you want. This is the option to create 3D graphs. You can always create a 2D graph and then convert it to 3D. Another set of similar charts are known as bar charts. You can see these are the bar chart options available. These are exactly similar to column charts. Only difference is that the column or that this bar is rotated 90 degrees clockwise. That is instead of vertical bars, we'll be having horizontal bars. One advantage of using a bar chart is that the category labels, that is the horizontal axis labels which were in the column charts can be easily read in a bar chart. So you can see if I have these months here, if these values are longer, it can be easily read in this bar chart. Instead, if it was in a column chart, these values may overlap and it will be difficult to read. You can see that these two values are getting congested and if you have even bigger labels, it will get overlapped and difficult to read. So all the options in column chart that we, sh that we saw are also available in bar charts. You can see this is the clustered bars, this is the stacked bars and this is 100% stacked bars. And these are the 3D versions of it. So all those options that we saw in the column charts are also available in bar charts. So in this video we learned how to create a column chart and a bar chart from a data table. We also learned how to add the missing elements of chart we added chart title and chart legend using this plus icon in the right.